Is this the best shoe of 2023? In the world of running shoes, 2024 is already shaping up to be an exciting year. And what better way to run into 2024 by revealing the ultimate review of our favorite running shoe of 2023. A year has passed since the Puma Deviate Nitro 2 hit the running tracks. And yet, its buzz from 2023 hasn't faded. In a world where running shoes are constantly evolving, this one has managed to remain in the spotlight. But what makes it stand out in a sea of newer releases? As we step into another year, of innovative footwear, we find ourselves asking, has the Puma Deviate Nitro 2 stood the test of time? Join us as we unpack everything about this surprisingly interesting model to see if it continues to outrun the competition, because this is Run IQ. Key features of the Deviate Nitro 2 Innovative cushioning The Deviate Nitro 2 features a unique combination of Nitro Elite and Nitro Foam. This dual foam system offers a balance of softness for comfort and responsiveness for performance, catering to a variety of running styles. Nestled within the midsole, the carbon-infused power plate is designed for propulsion and efficiency, adding snappy feel to every step without compromising the shoe's overall flexibility. Upper design, the updated breathable mesh, provides a snug, yet comfortable fit, addressing previous concerns about heel slippage with added padding and an improved heel counter. Traction and durability. The Puma Grip outsole stands out for its exceptional grip across various surfaces, making the shoe versatile for different running conditions. Its durability is also a highlight, extending the shoe's lifespan even with regular use. Competitive landscape. In 2023, the running shoe market is saturated with advanced technologies and designs, each vying for the top spot. Brands are pushing the limits with super foams, intricate lacing systems, and ergonomic designs. In this competitive space, the Puma Deviate Nitro 2 holds its own by blending innovation with practicality. While other brands might offer lighter shoes or a wider array of color options, the Deviate Nitro 2 focuses on delivering a well-rounded performance. It's this balance that keeps it relevant and competitive in 2024, a year after its initial splash in the market. It caters to both the casual jogger and the serious marathoner, which is a rare feat in today's segmented market proving that a well-thought-out design can stand the test of time in a rapidly advancing industry. But we will know for sure when new releases hit the market in the upcoming months. Performance and ride quality. The true test of any running shoe lies in its performance across various running scenarios. The Puma Deviate Nitro 2 has been put through its paces in different run types. Here's how it fared. Easy runs. This $160 magician shines with its comfortable cushioning. The dual foam system absorbs impact effectively, making for a smooth and enjoyable experience. Experience. It is not a maxed cushioned shoe like the Nimbus from ASICS, but it's still great for recovery days or leisurely jogs. Tempo runs. When the pace picks up, the shoe's carbon composite power plate comes into play. It provides that extra push and snap needed for faster efforts. The transition from heel to toe is seamless. The blend of multiple foams offers sustained comfort without losing responsiveness. Its stability is notable, especially when compared to similar models. In the dynamic landscape of 2023's running shoes, the Puma Deviate Nitro 2 finds itself up against some formidable competitors. Let's break down how it stacks up in terms of features and performance. Saucony Endorphin Speed. Renowned for its balance of speed and comfort, this model is a favorite among runners seeking a performance edge. Nike Vaporfly. A front runner in the race day shoe category, known for its innovative design and exceptional energy return. Brooks Glycerin. A popular choice for those prioritizing cushioning and comfort, especially over long distances. These models represent the pinnacle of specific features in running shoes, the Endorphin Speed 3 for its tempo and racing capabilities, the Vapor Flight for its cutting-edge technology and speed, and the Brooks Glycerin for its superior cushioning. Comparing the Deviate Nitro 2 against these benchmarks offers a comprehensive view of where it stands in the current market. Versus Sarkony Endorphin Speed, the Deviate Nitro 2 matches the Endorphin Speed in terms of responsiveness but with added cushioning and more stability making it more versatile for a range of runs. However, for pure speed, the Endorphin Speed 3 may have a slight edge versus Nike Vaporfly. The Vaporfly leads in speed and energy return, but the Deviate Nitro 2 offers better versatility and durability versus Brooks Glycerin 19. While the Glycerin 19 excels in cushioning, the Deviate Nitro 2 offers a more balanced experience, making it a better all-rounder. Compared to specialized racing shoes like the Vaporfly, it may fall short in outright speed. Additionally, in the realm of color options and aesthetics, it might not offer as much variety as other models. After closely 
examining the Puma Deviate Nitro 2 and comparing it with its rivals, it's time to weigh in on the ultimate question. Is it the best running shoe of 2023? The Puma Deviate Nitro 2 is not without its flaws, but its strengths make it a serious contender for the best shoe of 2023. It may not be the absolute fastest on the market, nor does it offer the plush cushioning of dedicated long-distance shoes. However, its ability to perform exceptionally well across a spectrum of occasions makes it a top choice for many runners. For those seeking a jack-of-all-trades shoe, the Deviate Nitro 2 is perhaps one of the best options available as of now. I would personally rate this shoe the winner by a close margin over the Asics Nova Blast 4. But don't take my word for it. In order to make up your own mind, you have to try them out for yourself or watch this video about the famous Nova Blast 4. Happy running!